I started my blog at FIT when I had more time during my studies. I think it was the fourth semester. I was like, okay, you're gonna help guys dress better because I actually felt like I knew the industry and I could actively benefit guys out there all over the world. I started a workout program and in order to keep myself accountable and keep myself focused, I made my Instagram account and I ended up connecting with all these other women doing the same exact workout program that I was doing. As a true lover of fashion, I, I lived for magazines, but I felt like there wasn't really a place for me to fit into that dialogue or that narrative. And I felt like blogs gave me that outlet. I was connecting with other women who had similar budgets, similar lifestyles, similar body types. And I think there was something really beautiful in the conversation that we started there. When I first started my Instagram account, people really only looked at your follower count. That was the main number that they looked at. But now, current day, there are numbers that brands really want to see. They want to see your engagement rate, they want to see your impressions, your story views. So there's a lot more in terms of analytics. Great, strong content usually means that a following will follow after. The thing that I think we need to actually start redefining is the actual health of that following. So while I may not have a million or 500,000 followers, the 100,000 plus followers that I do have, I reach a much more targeted and engaged audience. And that to me means that I have a healthy following. It's more about who is actually engaging with you. How many views are you driving? How far is your reach? How many people do your stories reach? And how many of those interact with you when you ask a question? The more personality I inject into my aesthetic and my message, the more that my followers connect with me and want to stay around for the journey. The brands that I like to work with the most are the ones that already align with my philosophy and what I'm creating. And I find that it's the brands that put money behind that content, those are the most successful ones. As a brand, you hire me to create content. I pour my heart and soul in it. I try and create the most organic and quality content that I possibly can. And then it doesn't get seen because my exposure is capped by Instagram. But a way to work through that as a brand is to just put marketing dollars behind that original content for advertising within Instagram to make sure that people actually see the content that I created for them. Now I'm at a point where I don't want to just speak through one image at a time anymore, but rather through 24, 30 a second in the video format where there's a voice, where there's emotion and authenticity. When Instagram first started, you could kind of get away with just posting beautiful photos. We're all aesthetic creatures, we like to see pretty things. But now as the industry has evolved, it's so much more than just a photo, it's really the story behind the photo and also the person behind the story. Oh,